Hey blessed beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber and or community member, welcome back. And if you are new here, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Jasmine Slater and I create lifestyle, marriage, hair, wellness, femininity, and self-care content here on YouTube. So if that interests you, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel while you're at it, and turn on all the channel notifications for all community updates. And please join my 99 cent membership. It includes all sorts of amazing perks. So go ahead and check that out above, right up here and below in the description. And you all, as always, let's get to a thousand subscribers. So today I am gonna help you establish a workout plan in just three easy steps. So if you have a pen and a tablet or just a journal that you like to keep all of your lifestyle notes in, go ahead and grab that. And also grab a warm drink or just a glass of water while you take these notes. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the ways that you can establish a healthy, balanced, and overall successful workout plan tailored to you. So the first thing that you want to consider when you are establishing your personalized workout plan is you want to consider the time that goes into your workout as well as the time of day that you will be exercising. You can exercise at any time of day that you want to. So that's morning, afternoon, and or nighttime. It is easy to get stuck in doing 15 minute or 30 minute workouts, but I want you to challenge yourself to do at least 45 minutes to 60 minutes a day and make sure that you are getting your heart rate up within those 30 to 60 minutes so you are seeing fat loss and so you are seeing weight loss in whatever form or shape or way that you want to. And please, please, please be mindful about the climate that you are working out in. If you are in a sunnier uh, type of climate or you're somewhere where it's a little bit drier, it's more heat. Um, be cautious about working out in the sun and make sure you have on sunscreen when you work out or make sure you try to plan your workouts for those early morning times or try to plan them for the evening times when the sun is not out or when it is cloudy. That is when you really want to plan your workouts and you want to see the most success. So now that you figured out the time that you want to work out, you want to figure out the location. And three different locations that you can work out at are your home, you can work out outside, or you can go to a gym. The indoor workouts that I have seen the most results with are the Grow with Joe indoor workouts. She has an amazing community, y'all, and I am telling you, if you are somebody who doesn't like to go outside all the time for all workouts, look into Grow with Joe. She has a lot of videos that are tailored to smaller spaces, and she helps you lose the weight from the comfort of your own home so it does not matter where you are starting from. She is there to encourage you and uplift you and y'all, I promise you, it feels like you're working out with a best friend when you work out with Joe in the mornings. Look into her videos, follow her, subscribe, join her community because I am a part of it and I have loved it. So if you are somebody who loves to work out outside, this is the video for you. So when you work out outside, the world is really your oyster. You can mountain climb, you can go on rough terrain. It's also good to note that when you're outside, you are getting fresh air, you're getting oxygen to your lungs, and you are breathing in all of that good, nice morning if you exercise in the morning, or if you do evening walks, you're just taking in the day. If you're somebody who enjoys working out outside, you need to find things that make you work or challenge you a little bit. Also nice to note that you can work out in the comfort of your own backyard and you can work out at home at the same time. So some of these locations will be a two in one deal, but 
Just do what works best for you. And if you do happen to work out outside at home, you can always turn your home into a home gym, which leads me into my next point, working out at the gym. I haven't been to a gym in about a year. I had to cancel my membership. And while it was a sad transition, moving away from personal trainers and camaraderie in the gym with people that I would see every day, it's sad to say that I don't really miss it. I've been working out at home and I have been working out outside and that has worked for me in my comfort zone, but also worked for me in me pushing myself and challenging myself. And not to say that gyms are all bad. Gyms are not bad by any means. However, I do have a little bit more of a flexibility with working out outdoors or working out in the comfort of my own home. It is just something that I like to do. And if it works for you, do not break it. So now you wanna find out what type of intensity you want to do for your exercise. Is it gonna be low intensity? Is it going to be intermediate? Or is it going to be a high intensity workout? A low intensity workout or a low impact workout sounds just like it is. So anything from walking to lifting maybe two pound dumbbells, yoga, maybe some stretching, those are things that you are going to want to do. For your medium intensity workout, you are going to want to stick to maybe some weightlifting, maybe some Pilates, anything that has to do with building that muscle and dropping a lot of that fat. So you can go on Pinterest, you can go on Google, you can also go to Grow With Joe. She has some amazing intermediate advanced level workouts that I like to use to walk my weight off. And your high intensity workouts can be anything that is going to make you sweat and increase your heart rate to where you feel like it's a challenge. It is also good to note if you are somebody with a higher weight or a higher BMI, you may want to start with intermediate level um, workouts. Those can actually feel like high intensity workouts. And I love to stay within the intermediate level because I feel the most successful. I feel like it is tailored to my body and like how my body is made. And I also feel like I burn the most calories in between that zone. So if you have made it this far, go ahead and drop a weightlifting emoji down in the comments. You all, we are going to get stronger together. We are going to get wiser together and we are going to get more blessed and more beautiful together. So if you like this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel, join the membership you all. It's 99 cents and you can cancel anytime. And as always, stay blessed and stay beautiful. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.